Hey there, welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be using the rope tool. Now, the rope tool is a very simple tool. As you could, the name suggests, it creates a rope between two objects. Now, it does matter where you place the rope on the object, and you can add multiple ropes to, to um, whatever. You can, you can have as many ropes as you like attached to an object. Now, the force limit, as we've discussed in other tools, allows you to create something that's breakable. So if I set the this sufficiently high and I use this okay well it's, it's quite weak but anyway set that to zero to leave the the ropes unbreakable you can add length if you like by default if you weld two props together it will weld the rope the rope will be the distance between those props but if you add a add length to it you could have it go further and as you can see there's a limit there now if I set this back to zero Excuse me for a sec. Zero. Now you can make your ropes invisible if you want. So I can set the width to zero. Attach these two props together. There's no visible connection, but they clearly are connected because the rope's there. So I'll set back that back to uh, one ish. Now rigid tool. Uh, you probably noticed that if you have uh, a rope, it's compressible. You can bring these two objects together and the rope will just slacken. However, if we use the rigid tool, what happens is, to, as the name suggests, creates a rigid rope. So that won't allow the props to come together. So it will keep them at a distance. Um, I think that's everything. So thanks for watching this tutorial and I hope you're enjoying the series.